Hello. Today we are going to do how to prepare and cook a sea bream part two. In part one, you've seen on my video, you see that I had those two lovely breams and I filleted them and I did a dish of uh, pan fried sea bream fillets with the smashed potatoes, coriander and lime. But for recipe two, I'm also going to pan fry these lovely fillets but I'm going to do it with a parsnip puree. And I'm going to make that puree by slicing these lovely parsnips, these onions, in the pan with some water. And I'm going to boil them down a bit for half hour and we're going to blitz them. And then you can see I've got a little bit of chopped parsley, chopped shallot, chopped lemon juice. I'm going to make a gremolata that will sit on top of the fish. Now gremolata traditionally is made with a citrus of some sort, a parsley and garlic. But we're going to use obviously the shallot. So when we made our parsnip puree, obviously parsnips, onions, we pureed it. I'm going to add some cream, add some nutmeg, add some seasoning. I'm going to put that down on the plate, add my pan fried fillets and then sprinkle my gremolata on top. So I'm going to move the camera over onto the stove and we'll get going. So what I'm going to do first then, you can see my pan of water there bubbling away. Just move these to the back, put that in there. Simple as, just cut that thick root off the end, straight down the middle, just chop them up. And then we'll get these in that pan. Same with the onion. What we're gonna do, put a lid on it, and then gently boil that for about half an hour, and then we shall puree it. So I shall get these chopped. So there's my veg prepped into this pan of water. And I'm not gonna season this yet, because I'm gonna season this, check the seasoning after I pureed it. So that's in the pan and then we zested that lemon so I'm just going to put the juice in there. That will come up to heat. I'm going to put a lid on it and I'll check on that in 30 minutes. So you can see my um, parsnips and my onions gently ticking over. They've been on about 20 minutes now in the bottom right and what we're going to do start getting these bream fillets cooked so again gently scoring just through the skin just to stop them you know bunching up and i got my pan on as you know it wants to be smoking hot you know so it starts to fry them straight away because if not what you tend to do is if you haven't got your pan hot enough and you put stuff in be it a steak or anything gammon it takes the heat out straight away and then you don't actually fry it, you don't get the crispness because it, it reduces the heat so much that you end up basically just steaming it or poaching it. You won't get that nice crisp skin is what we want. You know, and like I said in my video one, it really lifts like bass, bream, cod, you know, get that crispy skin on, takes it to a new dimension. It's fantastic. So I've just rubbed a bit of olive oil on. Sprinkle some sea salt on. Wait till we get some heat in that pan. Just going to add a drop of oil in there just to help it along again with the crisping. And when that's ready, we shall gently lay our sea, uh, sea bream fillets in. And hopefully this will come together. This is taking minutes, you know, this is a real simple dish. You know, once you've got all your stuff ready, your mise en place, got it all ready, it takes minutes. This is so you might just be able to see, it's just starting to shimmer. Now I've got that full heat. So again, lay them in and they bunch up. So press down so we get that lovely contact again. Just for a few seconds so it sits right. Just like that. And with the second one, watch it bunch up. So underneath there, it's not touching the pan. So you won't get a, an all over crisp skin, so help it on its way, push it down and once you're happy it's flattened out like that, just turn the heat down to medium, we're going to cook those for 4 minutes, you can already see it's starting to cook up, it's going opaque, 
from where the belly flap is coming up. So we're going to cook it three quarters on the skin side. So while my lovely fillets are ticking away, they're not going to take long, I need to flip them in a minute. I'm just going to get the old stick blender. Excuse the noise a minute. We've got puree in, these parsnips, onions, add the lemon juice in. I mean, I love parsnips. Can you hear me? Get them pureed right down, and we'll add our cream, our nutmeg. Check the seasoning. Check on my fish. It's all go here. Lovely. I'm probably going to take them in that side now. So I get my cream, dancing around the back of the camera, cooking in real time, living on the edge, baby. Put some cream in there. Is that a blitz? What I'm going to do now, lovely and crisp that is, you know there's no giving that, check, see what it looks like, nice and moist, take the heat out of there, I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to sort out the rest of this puree, so just give that puree a little touch of nutmeg. Cranking some pepper. We can balance up this seasoning in a moment. We'll give it a taste. You can hear the heat coming out of that pan now. It's cooling down. Be fantastic. Give me a spoon. We've got a whip round. You can see this really doesn't take long. You know, you're just waiting for those parsnips to become tender enough to use, and then before you know it, it's done. Oh, that's nice. I'll put a bit more pepper in there. A bit more salt. They're nice, creamy. That should be it. Time to serve up, I think. Lovely. Let's serve it up. Right. So have a nice bit of that parsnip puree. Excuse that bit on the plate. Mmm. That puree is fantastic. I'm going to take my bream fillets. Oh. And then when you grab an artery mix, just a few little bits of shallot on the top. Bit of parsley and a bit of this lemon zest. And I think it calls for just a little drizzle of olive oil on the plate, just like that. And I'm happy with that. I should just give that plate a wipe and we'll have a good look at that. Now that doesn't look too shabby, a plate of food, cooked to perfection, skin, just have a look at this fish, i get a bit on my fork, I hope you can see this, how juicy those flakes are, I'll give it a go, I could eat this all day, mm. some of that puree. Absolutely amazing. Cooks in minutes. I mean, it sounds mad on paper. I know it does parsnips and fish, but give it a go, it really works. Thanks for watching.